Absolutely. Well, there's a story that I have not heard yet that I want to hear, and I know my audience wants to hear it as well. You know, for many years, 15 years or more, uh, you had a very, very successful knock it out of the park wholesaling business. And then uh, just uh, last year, you made the decision to shut that business down and move on to other things. So I want to hear the story, as does the audience. What caused you to make that decision? Very, very successful business. And how was it no longer serving you? And, you know, what was all involved in that decision? Yeah, no, I'm happy to open up, Jay, and kind of, you know, walk you through. And, and I'm an open book. So any questions you have, uh, you know, to a certain degree, um, I, I dealt with a little bit of an identity crisis, Jay. And what I meant by that is, you know, here I was, you know, fast forward, I've been in the business 15, 16 years. I have this podcast and I, and I have, you know, speaking opportunities and different things of that nature. And yet I am, I've created a business that I'm no longer passionate about. I'm, I created a business that while it's successful and it's profitable and, and while I love and enjoy the team that I get to work with. Um, I feel like God is calling me to do something bigger and better with my life. I don't know if you can relate to that or if anybody listening has ever been, uh, you know, in that position, but it, beginning of 2018, beginning of 2019, my apologies, I was in Guatemala. I was, uh, in Guatemala on a missions trip and it was half mastermind, half mission trip, something my friend and co-partner, uh, Steve Cavanaugh puts together every year. And I was so enlightened because I had the opportunity to serve and to be surrounded by the people of Guatemala who live in poverty and yet are so filled with gratitude and happiness and fulfillment and joy. And, uh, and here I was again, successful, but I felt like something had been missing. And I opened up to the people that were a part of that mastermind that I had been feeling for a while, Jay, like, again, like I, you ever feel that tap on the shoulder or the nudge where you're meant to do something bigger with your life. Like the purpose is so much bigger than what you're currently living. Sure. And for me, Jay, it was the fact that the real estate business, it got a little bit monotonous. It got a little bit boring. And, uh, and I, I wanted to challenge myself in a way that I had never challenged myself before. You know, I got tired of going from transaction to transaction to transaction. And, uh, while I'm so grateful for the opportunities that the real estate business has provided me, I wanted to serve at a higher level. The podcast was an extension of that, but I knew I could do it on a much deeper level. So after a lot of thought, prayer, meditation, you know, uh, coaching calls, I ultimately decided that I wanted to go ahead and transition the business off to my COO, my right hand. And I wanted to pursue uh, a mastermind and coaching business, which months later became Ascend. And uh, I revealed on my podcast on the Flip Empire show that uh, I just kind of like, uh, I was very vulnerable and transparent. And I shared with people that despite, you know, the success, it, it came with a lot of challenges. And I asked myself one important question. I asked myself, if I was doing what I am doing today, 12 months from now, would I be happy? Or would I just be accepting what is? And the answer was, I wouldn't be happy. I would just do it because it was, and, and that's when I knew it was time to pivot. It was time to go in a little bit of a different direction. So to this day, I am, uh, I'm still an active real estate investor. I just no longer run a wholesaling operation. Um, um, in fact, I'm going under contract on a, a self-storage facility as of today. Um, I still have rental properties. I still do some, uh, you know, I'm still a part of joint venture deals. And, uh, and obviously we have the, the coaching and mastermind business, uh, but I am no longer actively pursuing growing and scaling a wholesaling operation. Mm -hmm.